working as quickly as possible to get the transit back up and running. And here in the Weather Center with our team of meteorologists who have a look at our weather right here in Green Country. Now Hello. starting off cold this morning, back mm -hmm. in the teens, we're going to see a nice warm up today, a little cooler than yesterday, but still above freezing. Brittany Rainey has a phrase that she likes to call a big puffy coat. <laughs> this is one of these days you're going to need one of those. Need it this morning and also into this <laughs> afternoon. You, do, you know those giant coats that just kind of look like giant sleeping bags? I wore mine yeah. today. Mm -hmm. I don't have one. <laughs> you need one. Taff, you're missing out. One. <laughs> That's where the party's located. Your numbers for today, beginning the day with cold weather, and we've even put this on the weather graphic here, Taft. 7 a.m. we'll have temps in the teens. This afternoon, breezy, so the wind is going to get stronger. Not much wind this morning, but a breezy afternoon. We'll have wind chills in the 20s this afternoon with an actual temp of 36 when you're picking up your children by 3. Here's what's going on across Oklahoma. We'll be running colder today as we saw a cold front blow its way on through last night. And as we go throughout the day, we're going to see increasing wind, especially during the afternoon. By the way, that area of rain and sleet and snow, which we had last night, has now moved well on off to our east. You can see it making its way across the Mississippi. And we'll have dry weather for the next couple of days before we see rain increasing for the weekend. And as far as your weekend, looking ahead toward Friday, most of Friday will be dry. But as we work our way into Later Friday into the evening hours, a few showers will be possible. Most of the rain on Friday will be east of Tulsa in the far eastern Oklahoma and Arkansas. Increasing rain for all of us on Saturday, then by Sunday turning colder. You may even see some light snow. We'll keep you updated on that coming up for Sunday. Here's a look at your morning commute along Interstate 44. No major travel problems along the highways. A lot of that ice and snow simply just melted away yesterday under the sunshine. So the roads are drier this morning. Right now we're at 21 with a light wind. I'm going to show you the weather today and tomorrow. You'll see no additional precip showing up across the state today. We'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds. Overall, a lot of sunshine, but that wind this afternoon will make it feel cool. I do want to point out that tomorrow, if you do have travel plans up to the north, increasing chances for snow for you toward Kansas City and St. Louis, but we'll stay dry here today and tomorrow. So breezy this afternoon. Highs are going to struggle to warm up. We'll see readings only in the upper 30s here. We will see 40 south of Tulsa if you live down closer toward McCann. Alistair, and then tonight, partly cloudy and cold. Colder than this morning, we'll see lows in the teens here in Tulsa in the morning. Now, your seven day forecast shows we'll be up to 46 tomorrow and 46 on Friday. So we'll remain with cool to cold temps. On Friday, beginning the day dry, increasing chances for rain, mainly east of Tulsa during the day. Now, the high on Saturday is going to depend on the timing of this front. We may see a huge temperature range, meaning we may see readings from the 30s to the 60s across green country, just depending on the exact timing of the front. Front. All of this colder by Saturday night and Sunday with a chance for light snow on Sunday and frigid temps only 32 for your high on Sunday with wind. So Taft, the cold air is returning for the weekend. Yeah, it looks like a chilly forecast indeed, George. Let's take another